I'm on top of the layout again, and I'm here at the Guernsey farm that is just to the left of the fire scene, if you've been here before. And uh, this scene here is really an original scene. It's been here, the buildings my dad built back in 1961, the two f barns, and actually that farmhouse itself, he built back earlier than that. He built that back probably in the early 50s, and it was actually two houses instead of one house. And when he brought it, the display up here to the choo-choo barn, he decided to put the two houses together and make one bigger farmhouse. The, the glass itself is actually really glass, and he used lace, I think probably from my mom, a slip of, an old slip of my mom's, and that's what he made the uh, curtains out of. So that farm has been painted, I think, about twice since it's been on here, but this is all going to get a redo. I mean, I'm going to re-landscape this whole section with new trees, new bushes, new grass, uh, probably add some more people. And another thing that I'm doing is, I, we used to have, this was a, a little fenced air, in area for uh, a pasture for the cows, and I uh, took the old fencing out that was in here and decided to put new fencing in. So uh, what I did was I took eighth inch dowel rod and I painted it white and then cut them into little lengths so I can make my little posts. So I've already started here and I'll show you how I'm doing that. Um, what I do is I made this jig and the jig, I have a mark here at 10 feet which is two and a half inches in quarter inch scale. So what I do is I lay my jig down on the layout that marks off 10 feet. At that 10 foot spot, I'll drill an eighth inch hole. And it really doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter if, if, if it's not absolutely perfectly straight because fence pole posts around here are usually not perfectly straight. I'm going to dab a little bit of glue on it. Stick my fence post in that hole. Then I want to take the little jig that I built, and I put this little piece of wood here at the at, a, at one inch, and one inch is a four foot high post. I take the little jig, push down on the top of that post, and when I, when this bottom part hits the ground, my pole my post is in four feet. 